Hello guys. Um, I've just been watching some stuff by a guy called Jack Fresco, actually, who I'd highly recommend anyone to listen to. He's uh, been very interesting to listen to indeed. And something that um, I feel is almost bizarre that I've only thought about in the last few months since listening to him, but I haven't thought about it before. And I think most people don't. I think it goes over most people's heads, but it's something important to realise is that he pointed out to me that we don't create solutions to problems. You know, watching him made me realise we don't create solutions to problems. We just sort of make laws and hope for the best. Um, at one point, he's talking about a system of um, making solutions. You know, real solutions to real problems. Like, he's referring to... There's often stories every year of children outside schools being hit by speeding cars. You know, which is a, a kind of sad fact, you know, that, that child never really got to um, live a, a, a full lifetime as such. You know, they, they had that opportunity taken away from them because someone was speeding. But all they really do is they write the word slow in paint on the road and then make it illegal to speed there. You know, but that doesn't physically stop it happening. That doesn't physically stop a car speeding up. It doesn't physically stop someone putting their foot down and, you know, causing that kind of thing to happen which I feel is very sad, you know, it's really sad, and this, uh, it's just bizarre to me that we don't create a real solution, you know, and Jack Fresco's got ideas, you know, to, uh, to make like an interlocking road system so that when a child wants to cross the road, they'll be on the pavement and there's railings by the pavement as such, I mean, this is just, uh, my example of maybe one of, what one of his ideas are, you know, a, a solution, so you've got rails between the pavement and the road so that cars can't hit children and when a child wants to cross the road they push a button and a barrier comes up in the road so that the car can't physically hit the child you know there, there is no problem then then the problem solved or at one point he's talking about um, cars that slip on icy roads well and then what do we do we wait and it takes ages and people have to put the grit salt down to melt the ice on the road well why, ain't the, why don't they make a form of tarmac that's always got um, a higher level, higher level of sodium you know or, or grit salt the roads all the time and then when a the snow falls, there wouldn't be ice for people to slip and slide on, you know. So what I'm really trying to say is people, I feel, can benefit from realising that we've got to create solutions to problems rather than creating laws or just talking and hoping for the best. You know, we've really got to make things happen. But um, I found that so interesting. I'd really recommend Jack Fresco. He's the, uh, the head of a project called the Venus Project, which is ultimately based on a world a whole new system of living rather than living in a money based system he wants to live in a resource based economy which I personally feel after listening to him is a much better idea it makes a lot more sense it's a lot more efficient it's a lot better for the planet and it's a lot better for us and if it's better for the planet you know it's better for our well-being too because our well-being and the well-being of the planet are completely connected there's a relationship um, the planet is our environment so if we fuck with the planet we're fucking with ourselves you know because the planet provides everything we need for life um, it's really interesting to listen to. I'd recommend a video on YouTube called uh, The Venus Project, The Future by Design. And that's with Jack Fresco and he talks through his Venus Project and the resource space economy for, for about an hour. But please do go and watch that, it's interesting. And if we don't all talk about these things, you know, no solutions will get done really. The solutions to these problems won't come up, things won't be done unless people really talk about it and s spread the awareness, you know. So, peace, love, respect and good intentions to everyone watching and thank you for watching. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos in future please do like or dislike I've got nothing against someone disliking my videos if you do dislike it please do dislike it it's fine you know that's how you feel and I'm all for people expressing how they feel and I'd encourage anyone else to make their own videos as well okay peace and love